Hey, bro. Hey, Cor. How you doing? What are you doing? I'm doing some highly scientific ESD testing here. With a bag of coins? Absolutely. You'd be surprised at how well this simulates high voltage ESD events, uh, such as a motor kicking on, a compressor kicking on, that sort of event that can wreak havoc on video distribution systems. So tell me about the setup. Sure. I've got the same video source going through DMNVX on the, on the left here and uh, a 10 gig video distribution solution on the right here. Um, both of them running through 100 meters of cable. Uh, although another important distinction is that DM only needs Cat5e. So I'm going through 100 meters of Cat5e 10 gig solutions need CAT6A, so we're going through the more expensive CAT6A cable um, with that solution. So CAT5 is everywhere. Absolutely. That's one of the big advantages of using a gigabit network is that CAT5E cable is everywhere. So you can just use the network infrastructure in the wall. But CAT6 is a higher quality cable, so it seems like an unfair test for Crestron. You would think so, but here, give it a shot. Okay. Immediately, you can see the video starts cutting out. Okay, and what about on the NVX? I can do that all day, no problem. And so why doesn't it cut out on the NVX? Well, one big reason is a technology we use called forward error correction. Uh, it's actually a standard technology used in networking to make sure that you're able to recover data from ESD events like this without losing any of the overall picture. You're not in the lab with coins all day, are you? Well, we do this a fair amount, but we've also got some more serious test equipment like our ESD gun here. And this okay. we can use to shoot electrostatic discharge directly into the equipment. All right. So, give it a shot. You can wow. see, even as I'm shooting us, the 10 gig solution's cutting wow. out. So okay. yeah, you can, you can try that directly immediately. It'll start dropping out. Yeah, it cut out quite a bit there. <laughs> yeah, I hope we didn't break it. <laughs> Thank you. So, how many volts is that thing? 8,000 volts. 8,000 volts, really? Absolutely. Prove it. Okay. Corey, you okay? Buddy?